not even trying to get abs, and they're here, like, it's just Sunday, January, you want to say June, just woke up, it's January 20, 2022, <laughs> let's start again, alright, we're going to do jump cuts here, you've got the mic doing right, I speak into the mic, it's January 2023, yeah, it is, and uh, it's, um, uh, the 22nd of January, 2023. Let's get some water in here. Do you know, when you're dehydrated, you increase your levels of vasopressin in your brain, in your blood. All right. Look up the, the problems with increased vasopressin. Water decreases vasopressin. All right. Sugar decreases vasopressin. Okay. Now you know why Jordan Peterson and all those people have kidney issues, diabetes, etc. Timothy Noakes, all of them, all of them, Jordan Peterson, all have type 2 diabetes they all fail the old glucose tolerance tests so if you want type 2 diabetes follow their advice and restrict your carbohydrate all of them guarantee you all of them if you're actually doing the high fat diet they claim they all have type 2 diabetes and untreated actually tim Noakes, he treats his diet to diabetes but the others they have untreated type 2 diabetes as evidenced by their oral glucose tolerance test. Every time you increase your fat intake to make most of your calories from fat, you give yourself type 2 diabetes within two or three days as evidenced by an oral glucose tolerance test. Okay? Your blood sugar levels don't mean much. It's the oral glucose tolerance test that tests your insulin resistance. That is the test for type 2 diabetes, not blood sugar. So and let's, let's talk about the video guaranteed weight loss Adversity people ask, what's in the boxes behind you? There's white boxes, there's vapor flies. If you want the best deal on vapor fly in Australia, hit me up. All right. Best price on vapor fly in Australia, hands down. We're doing these bad boys for $280. The latest colorway. $280. The men's, not the women's, the men's. They are unisex, but these are men's sizing. Vapor fly. So, no, alpha fly. I've got vapor flies as well. Best price in Australia. $100. 60, 180 bucks, around about, around about that. Um, depends on your size. But yeah, the Alpha Flies, killer shoe. Best price in Oz. Um, that's all those white boxes, red boxes, Vapor Flies, Sand Boxes, Air Max Scorpions, and then we have some other Harachis, etc. Love shoes. I've been in the shoe game since 1994. I've been selling shoes since 94, privately and in the shop, etc. Love it. Just I don't know, I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm a shoe dude. Sneaky geeker. Uh, guaranteed weight loss. All right, people like see me like, oh, so you, you two down yesterday, man, you're still lean. I follow you on Strava. You hardly ride anymore because your injury, but you're still lean. Like, I, I, I give up, Harley. I give up. You are right. I was wrong. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's the same sort of story or similar love. And, uh, you know, and it, it frustrates me. It frustrates me when, when people tell me that. Why do I feel frustrated when I get a compliment like that? Because these people have been ripped off, they've wasted their time, they've, they've they've gotten fat from following these these silly diets, the yo-yo things, the calories in, calories out, and they've missed out on life quality, especially if they're female. Like, if you're female, society says if you are female and you are overweight, your options are limited. You don't get treated the same as your twin sister, your hypothetical twin sister who looks like a stripper, who has a stripper body. You just don't, and every woman knows that. I don't make the rules. So I have women out there, and I'm thinking, man, if you lost 10 kilos, you would be like, damn. You know, if you lost 5 kilos even, or if you lost 20 or 30 or 40 kilos, like you would have a, a, a whole different way of life. Men would treat you so differently, uh, good and bad. Women would treat you so differently, good and bad. The world would treat you so differently, good and bad, but mostly good, okay? Um, like when you, you know... When you are a woman and your aesthetics increases, your life is easier, but you can also make it harder for yourself, all right? Then people use you for your looks or your stripper body, etc. So then you have to like filter through those sort of people. So, you know, it's not, there's no, there's no easy way in life. Like I just got out of bed and, uh, you know, by the way, I just got out of bed and, uh, you know, I have a goal every day, just be productive, all right, you just got to have goals, okay, and so when you're in life, and people don't treat you right, or how you expected, 
you know, sometimes it sucks, sometimes it doesn't. But what, what it doesn't really matter. What matters at the end of the day is are you living on goal? All right? Are you living with direction and purpose? I mean, what is your goal every day? To be swayed by social narratives and pushed around by the, oh, sugar's bad, or blah, 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 blah. Like you, well, whose thoughts are these? When you say shit to me or yourself, you know, this is good, this is bad. It's like, they said this. Who the fuck is they? Oh, they, they say sugar's, they say sugar makes you fat. Well, what the fuck do you say when you look at me for the last 25 years? Oh, but you're right a lot. Actually, you don't because you're injured. Oh, 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 maybe you're right. No, I'm not right. Nature's right. All right. This isn't my. I mean, these are my protocols, but I've stolen them from nature and some of the best people out there, and just put them together in a book, and there you go. Okay. Like it's be like a shoe. Like, this is the best marathon shoe ever made. All right. In my opinion, in my experience. Um. What is it? It's rubber, foam, little air window, carbon fiber, and a bit of fabric on top. A bit of nylon and stuff, probably recycled Coke bottles or whatever. You know, it, it's it's other materials, other ideas that someone slapped together, st- glued and stitched together into a shoe format. You put it on your shoe, and you can crack out some goals. Okay, so it's like, you know, you got to live on goal, all right? you got to live on goal, okay? And if your goal is to be a fit person, then you're going to be wearing these all the time, aren't you? Your, if your goal is to be your fittest version of yourself, you know, you're trying to stand with some alpha flies, maybe. Um, but honestly, no. If you're, like, I, the why I always wear fitness equipment, attire, because I like feeling fit, okay? You don't see me, I don't have a pair of dress shoes. These are my dress shoes, okay? My runners are my dress shoes. Every day I dress up for life, Okay? So you, you got to be on goal. So my goal, I have things that support me in my life. I have people in my life that support me, and I support them back. It's team fucking work. Teamwork, okay? It's teamwork. I always have water around me. All right? I always have carbs around me. Okay, these nectarines are insane at the moment. It's got a lucky batch. In one week's time, finished. These nectarines will not be able to get. Two weeks of the year in Adelaide, I get the best fruit ever, nectarines. I always have carbs bottom. This is oil-free Turkish bread. Um, you know, always surround yourself with things that help you on your goal. So guaranteed weight loss. I see people, I'm like, their goal, I want to get lean and stuff. And it's like, okay, where were you this morning on the bike ride? Or what did you eat last night for dinner? Or blah, 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 blah. You know, or like, what shoes are you wearing to work? What sort of job do you have? You know, like, it, it's, oh, but, 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 okay, that's cool. But if your goal is weight loss, man, listen to me. I guarantee you'll get the results and keep them, all right? So many people send me pictures, oh, do you think this guy's on steroids for this transformation? And I'm like, yeah, but the steroids don't make you lose the weight. Steroids make you gain weight. Steroids just retain the muscle when you're in this crazy starvation. Oh, it's not starvation. It's, it's calorie, it's a slight calorie deficit, as James Smith PT says, that the dude with depression and hates his life and is, is people who follow his advice having this get eating disorders if they don't already it's just and I feel sad for the guy. I feel sad for the dude. He's just been misled. Yeah, he's just another one out there. Calories in, calories out, starve yourself. Self self harm. Where was I? You know, like it, it it frustrates me seeing all this stuff out there, you know? And and people have a goal but then they get swayed by people like that. And it's like, come on man, like just fuck man. When I'm running a marathon and I want to do a, a PR time or whatever, or just run the fucking marathon. When I, when, I, when I want to do a marathon and fucking finish the marathon, I stay on fucking course, man. My goal is, okay, the finish line's that way. I'm going to follow the fucking signs that way. Then some dickhead on the side of the road's having a prank. Hey, guys, go this way. I'm like, yeah, mate, cool, cool dickhead. I'm going straight. I'm, I'm following the signs here. I know where the, I know where the course is because I've done my homework, okay? We don't go north here. We go south, okay? So you, you, that's the goal, man. That's why I finished the marathons. Because I'm going to the fucking finish line, all right? And sometimes I PR, sometimes I don't, whatever. Um, <laughs> you know, and I just, you know, like, what's, if your goal is a certain physique or whatever, then I'm your fucking man. Because I'm the most honest motherfucker out there when it comes to giving you the advice on weight loss. Because I'm not scared of your rejection. I'm not scared of... Da, 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 all right, 
Look at the, look at the shit people call me online. Do you think I give a fuck about your opinion if, if I'm on money truth? I don't give a fuck, all right? And that's not being me arrogant. That's me being genuine that I'm not here to bullshit you when it comes to your weight loss. I'm not here to, to take your money and go, ha, see a sucker, like all these other people are. All these other people, all they care about is popularity. And you can tell that because they only parrot what is socially acceptable, all right? Oh, okay, so sugar's bad. Oh, I'll parrot that. Oh, vegan's okay, or maybe not. But I'll parrot that. They're just parrots. And parrots are cool. They're like pigeons. And they're pigeon on that shoebox up there. See it? Little pidgey. Yeah, parrots and pigeons are cool. But if you want a fucking parrot, go to a fucking... Go to the, the forest. Go to a... Not a pet shop. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to see a parrot, just go on YouTube and watch parrot videos. <laughs> Why pay these parrot humans to... Parrot, more starvation advice for you. More dates, more places. Those guys have no idea. That's why they're not lean all year long. Greg Duchesne, Starvation Nation. Can you imagine living, living with Greg Duchesne, hypothetically? Um, can you imagine his mood swings? How snappy, how hangry he'd get. <laughs> Do you want to have a life like that? I don't, okay? <laughs> I have to jump cut. And scream in the camera and shit. You know, it's like, because you, you just, you know. Anyways. Um, but these are people out there who people are taking the advice from. Fuck knows why. I guess they're better sales people than I am. But you're getting scammed when you follow the advice of these people. Some of them are scammers. And some of them are just following what it takes to get some clout or presence on, online. Right? And that is just tell people good things about their bad habits, you know. Like, there's idiots out there who say, sorry, you are an idiot. Right? And I was an idiot too back in the day. Fruit's good, but sugar's bad. Sucrose is bad if it comes from cane, but sucrose is good if it comes from fruit. No, no, it's fucking sucrose. The sucrose mo molecular structure does not change. The carbon bonds don't change, whether you cook it or it's raw, or it's from fruit or lentils or carrots or peas or corn or cane or beetroots, etc., the, su the sucrose molecule is the same. It doesn't fucking change. Okay? So if you put lead in the water, it's dangerous. It doesn't matter if it's got water and water's a nutrient. If you, if you inject this fruit with lead, that lead doesn't become safe all of a sudden. Oh, but, but the lead's okay because there's fiber and micronutrients in there. Oh, there's micronutrition in there. It's still fucking lead. It's still poison to humans. So if sugars are poison, then fruits are poison because... Fruit contains sucrose, the sugar, okay? The fructose, the glucose, the sucrose, the polysaccharides, all right? Well, disaccharides, all these things. So that, that you're, that's an idiot. I used to say that, and then someone said, Harley, uh, sucrose doesn't change. And I'm like, oh, shit, I'm an idiot. I better stop. I don't, I don't want to be known as an idiot. I better stop saying that sugar's bad if I'm eating fruit. Simple as that. Sugar's never bad, okay? It's the things people eat with the sugar. But even then, when I say that... <laughs> You lose people who are just like, NPC, NPC over here. Or, or, oh, I don't know about Turin I don't know. <laughs> Yesterday, I was at Turin Under. I was with uh, Natasha and Eleanor, two fit, good-looking young women. And I'm at Turin Under, and there's these guys about my age, and one of them's like, like, you know, like, they started talking to me, and one of them pulls his phone out, and they're like, like, just sort of like, you know, talking about me. I was just sort of watching from my sunglasses and stuff. I just enjoy the social interaction. And uh, they probably pulled up some disapproving website or blog article about me from some dude who's got a man, super, super man crush on me, blah, 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 and got sexual frustration towards me. And that's okay. I don't know hate for these people. I appreciate them more these days than ever. And anyway, so it's like, he was, this guy was introducing the Duranada rabbit hole to his friends who didn't know about me. And in a very disapproving way. And maybe five years ago or ten years ago, I'd be like, well, I'd walk up there and say, hey, you guys go, how you going? You got a problem? Or some bullshit my ego would be taking control. But I thought, no, this is going to be fun. And so I watched him for my thing and then I even go, hey, guys, thumbs up. You know, hey, I see you talk, talking about me. It's all good. You know, because if no one's talking about me, then I'm, I'm irrelevant. And as an influencer, being irrelevant, that scares me. The day I have no hate articles or no Reddit threads about me, I am in deep, deep trouble because no longer my message is being spread. 
Okay, no longer my protocols are having traction. No one cares. Indifference is the that's the the rust, all right, of your career. Indifference. If people are indifference, yeah, yeah. You want to have lovers and haters. If you got no haters, you got no lovers. If you got no lovers, you got no haters. And if you got neither lover or hater, you're indifferent. You got indifference, and then you then you're fucked. Anyway, so these guys are like you know, and I can see the disapproval building up on their faces. And that made me smile even more. But then my smile turned into like, oh shit. Maybe these guys are believing what's on the internet. And maybe they won't take my advice. And they're going to fucking suffer. Actually, they're already fucking suffering because they're hanging around that beta guy on the far left with his phone, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, and I was just thinking, these guys, if they have girlfriends, maybe they're gay and that's fine. They probably were. Um because most of my haters are gay, and there's nothing wrong with that. Then actually, I've got, a lot of, I've got a lot of fans who are gay. But I'd say the, my male audience who doesn't like me, most of those guys are gay. And that's fine. All right? A gay friend of mine pointed that out. He goes, Harley, these guys who write the blogs about you, you know, the videos, documentaries, they are homosexual. All right? And I was like, well, really? But one of us got a girlfriend. And he's like, uh, she's a beard, buddy. All right? And I was just like, oh, man, this... this like, I never knew much about the gay scene, but a couple of my gay friends, especially one of them, opened my eyes up to what goes on behind the scenes. And it's quite interesting. The terms beard and bear and twink and otters and <laughs> there's a whole vocab out there. It's pretty interesting because it's so, I find it interesting because it's so socially hidden. Um, a bit like the sugar phobia, et cetera. Truth about sugar. And anyway, so, you know, where was I? But, you know, so these guys had girlfriends and these girlfriends wouldn't be satisfied because these guys are just taking advice from wrong people, you know? And, but I, I truly think, like, like, if you're out there, you know, like, thinking I'm the bad guy, like, fuck, man. Like, and, and if you genuinely believe that versus just some gay drama, like that, uh, what's his face? That, that gay dude on the OnlyFans who did a video about me. I forget his name. He called me evil vegan or something like that. Most evil vegans. You know, like, it's just, just, you know, just sort of damaged dudes, you know, um, it's just, you know, I feel sorry for him, man, you know, I feel sorry for him, like, I've got no hate for him at all, absolutely no hate, and if I did, I'd be, I'd be a fuck. I'd be the loser, I'd be the loser, if you've got hate for your haters, who hate you because they love you so much, because they have a gay crush on you, or a straight crush on you, then, then I'm the loser, all right, I'm the loser, okay, Took me a long time to work that out. So anyway, I was just thinking, you know, but these people out there who just believe whatever, and it's like, no wonder they aren't achieving their goals, you know? Like, there's actually people out there who'll go and pay $370 for this shoe. They'll go out, to today, they'll go out and buy this shoe for 370 bucks in Adelaide, Australia. They might see my listing on the, on the internet for, you know, what is it, 280 290 or 270 whatever. And they like, oh... Oh, oh, that's that, that's that Drew not a guy. I don't know about him. I don't know. Is this some sort of scam? I, I, just, I better be safe. I better be safe and go to Rebel Sport and buy it for 370 bucks. You know? And so I go pay an extra 80, 100, whatever bucks. Just to be safe. <laughs> and uh, so it's just like, that's the level we're talking about, man. The, 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 the people out there who are just getting fucking scammed, they're scamming themselves by believing certain narratives about nutrition, certain narratives about me, or certain narratives about cycling, or Australia, or Thailand, or, you know, like, just getting scammed. Like, the first time I went to Thailand, my grandma, who'd never been to Thailand, she's like, oh, I don't trust those those people over there. You know, you'll, 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 they'll steal your kidneys. You'll wake up in a in a hotel room, in a, in a bathtub of ice, with one of your kidneys missing, and a note saying, go to hospital. You're going to be dead in the next two hours. Otherwise, if you don't, you know. <laughs> and I was like, Graham, you saw that in a fucking, no, you saw that in a fucking movie. You know what I mean? That's not true. And I went to Thailand, but I was still thinking, oh, actually, maybe, maybe Nana's right. You know, she's older than me. She's more experienced in life, maybe. She's right. So I was over in Thailand. I'm just like make, making sure my bike's okay, making sure my, yeah, so don't get too close, Thai boy, Thai, Thai girl, you know. And after about half an hour, I'm just thinking, hang on, these people are fucking legit chill. Uh, these people are legit, tr- tr- like nice. Uh, and then, then the more time I spent in Thailand, I was like, "Fucking hell, man!" You know. So my personal experience became the reality, versus me listening to Nana, who was sincere but sincerely wrong. So for guaranteed weight loss, who are you listening to? 
And that's why you still haven't got results. You've been you've been at it for 20 fucking years. Or some people out there are coaching been at it for 40 years. And they still cannot maintain a slim natural body weight. 40 years daily dedication. Still cannot get the slim body they want. That they had when they were 17. Or 15 or whatever. Okay? People out there or people out there who are starving themselves to maintain this slim physique. But they can't maintain a happy mindset. They can't maintain mental health. They're constantly on the drugs or the the, the, the the prescription drugs, the recreational drugs, the legal drugs, the illegal drugs. Drugs to control their mindset. Okay? People say, oh, but sugar's a drug. Oh, fucking sugar's a drug. Sugar's a fucking nutrient. Which drug has four calories per gram? Which drug can you have a thousand grams a day of? None. They would kill you. Most of them would kill you over a gram a day. Okay? <laughs> Far out, man. It's, uh, this, again, people believe it. Sugar's a drug. It's a fucking nutrient. Oxygen's a drug. Everything's a drug. <laughs> water's a drug. Makes you feel good. Drinking water makes you feel good. Drinking water lights up the same dopamine receptors as cocaine. It makes, it's, it's a drug. Don't drink water. It's truth. War, drinking water lights up your brain like cocaine does. Okay? The same parts of the brain. Better ban water then. It's a uh, fucking hell. People out there. Um, so anyway, that's the deal. Guaranteed weight loss. Follow my protocols. Get it done. Forget everyone else. Be on that marathon course. Alright? You're at the start line. Listen to me until you're at the fucking finish line and then keep going. Keep fucking going. Go back again. Bring other people to the finish line, okay? Keep keep running that marathon course for fucking life. Life's a marathon. It never fucking stops. You wake up, you lace up, you get going. If you're in a wheelchair, you push that motherfucker along, all right? You're getting it done every fucking day, okay? Otherwise, man, it's like, you're like no one knows how long you're here for, all right? This, this could be my last day ever on this planet. I'm going to make a fucking count. I'm going to sit there worrying about the haters, worrying about, oh, what will people at work think of me if I eat, turn up to work and eat rice for lunch? Like, fuck that. Fuck that. Do you, like, people are like, Harley, you live, you live the best life ever. Literally, Harley, you live the best life ever. You live a better life than any celebrity. You know, you don't have as much money as a celebrity and have as much clout as a lot of celebrities do, but you definitely have a better quality of life because it's like, you can just share your shit, no jump cuts, wake up, Bed head, boom, bang it out, get it done with no drugs in your system because you live in your dream life. And I'm like, yep, I fucking created that. There's no, not a single person on earth that I would switch my life for right now, my lifestyle for. Like, I, I literally, there's nobody on the planet that I'll be like, yep, I want to be Ronaldo or I want to be that. No, 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 not at all. Uh, now, I'd love to have their level of influence to push the message out there for sure. There's undoubtedly. I like to switch uh, fame levels for sure, but in terms of lifestyle, not at all. all right? I'm absolutely living my dream every day. I wake up, I do exactly what I want to do. I do what makes me happy. I do what I'm here to do on the planet. Okay. Um, I don't do. There's nothing I do any day, any second of the day that I don't want to do. I just, you know, it's like it's like peeling the sticker off the fruit. Like I want to do that because that means I get to eat the fruit without the sticker on there. Okay, so I want to do that. Everything only people only do what you want to do today. All right, only do what you want to do. Don't do anything else you don't want to do. Like, why do anything else you don't want to do? Like, fuck that, man. Seriously, you could be dead today. So why be another day in that job you don't like to buy shit for your kids that they don't fucking need because they're being becoming more and more bratty. The more money you spend on your kids, the more bratty. And entitled they get. Kids don't need money. Kids just need your time. Okay? Anyway, that's another video. Guarantee weight loss. Follow my protocols. Get to eat and enjoy your food. Don't have to train like a maniac. And just get it done. Live a great quality of life. Why not? You deserve it. Go out and grab it.